Hey, Tony here. For today's October video, I'm going to show you my top 10 Stephen King films. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about each of these titles, but I do want to show you these in a ranking that I prefer. So, of course, your ranking will definitely be different than what mine is, depending on how you like each of these films. Um, Stephen King has a lot of great films. Some of them are not going to be included in this particular video, but may be included in other videos throughout the month of October. So first up at number 10 is Children of the Corn. I've always enjoyed this movie. Um, it's not my favorite, of course, but I do like the aspect of how creepy it is with the kids and with the cornfields and just think it has a very great um, atmosphere as far as horror is concerned. Next up is Salem's Lot. Now I've seen this just a couple of times. Um, and really enjoyed this story. It was very creepy. Um, if you look at the back of this, you can see the scene with um, the images on the back. Any kind of possession movie um, or anything to do with demons, um, vampires or whatever, always to me is very creepy. And so I always enjoy those types of movies. Okay, so at number eight, we have Stephen King's It, the miniseries. Now, I've always enjoyed this one. I've always found um, Pennywise, this um, iteration of Pennywise, pretty creepy. As you can tell, he looks pretty creepy. Um, I've always enjoyed the film. I really enjoyed the first part better than the second part. Um, I did actually see this one when it aired on TV back way back when. And it's another one that I really enjoy watching. Okay, at number seven, we have Cujo. I've always enjoyed Cujo. You know, I really don't hear very many people talking about this movie. Um, but I, I saw this one as a kid also, and it was pretty terrifying. Um, I've always been afraid of big dogs, or at least I was as a kid. Um, but anyway, I really enjoyed this movie, and I think um, the performances were really good in that one. Okay, next up we have The Dead Zone. Um, this is another one of Stephen King's movies that I watched way back when. Um, very enjoyable movie. You don't hear very many people talking about this one either. Um, but a great film. I would highly suggest you, that you check this out. Okay, next up we have Creepshow. Creepshow is another great um, anthology type film with different stories. And I've always enjoyed these. And um, it's been one of my favorites. So this right here is number five in my top ten. Okay, next up is number four. And that is Pet Cemetery. Now Pet Cemetery is another one. I actually got to see this one in the theater when it was released and always remembered how great it was. Just pretty much that first opening scene really set the tone of the film. And then um, I really enjoyed the performance of Fred Gwynn. Um, and overall, it's just a really good story and I've always enjoyed that one. Okay, at number three, we have Silver Bullet. This has always been a favorite of mine. As you can tell, it is number three on my list. Um, I've always enjoyed this film. Very happy to have this one in the collection. If you've never seen a good werewolf movie, this right here is a fun one. Um, it really sets the tone, the way, how dark it is, and just the performances um, is great. Okay, coming in at number two, we have Carrie. Now, I've always enjoyed this film. I think this is one of Sissy Spacek's greatest performances. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's got some other great actors in this film that you would know. But that final act was amazing. But anyways, it's just a really good story. If you have never seen it, I would highly suggest you check that one out. Okay, coming in at number one, we have The Shining. Now, The Shining is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, it is just a great movie altogether. I actually saw this one as a kid also. Um, Jack Nicholson and Shelley Duvall give some of the greatest performances I've ever seen. Especially Shelley Duvall. I, th I think... Um, her performance was, to me, better than Jack Nicholson's performance, which I'm sure people, some people would disagree with that. But you could actually just see the terror in her, in her acting um, from all of the documentaries and um, special features that I've watched about the film. It was a pretty difficult shoot to do this movie, but I've always loved it. It is very creepy. There's so many creepy elements in the movie. If you have never seen The Shining, definitely check it out. But those are my top 10 Stephen King films. Um, like I said, there's gonna be there are other ones that will be involved in other videos. But these are the top 10 that I really wanted to, to select 
for this particular video. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my top 10. Maybe let me know what your top 10 would be. Any that I might have missed from this collection. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.